Okay, so listen to this rabbi. He's a rabbi. To step back from your rightful and passionate loyalty to Jewish people and Jewish institutions. Step back from that. Just set it aside for a minute and try to look at the situation in a bit of a detached way. A settler colonial society that exists because it stole other people's land, destroyed their houses, kicked them out, and it's still doing that continually Manually. for more than 75 years, 75 does actually years. not have a right to defend itself. Individual Israeli Jews should not be harmed. Agreed. God forbid, killed. Agreed. But the state, actually, I, I don't believe it has a right to defend itself. And I'm just using that as an example of something that's kind of common parlance, or people just say it. They hear claims about Israeli women being raped by members of Hamas. There's never one example. Like, I can say very confidently, that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Even, you know, there have been four hostages released, a mother and daughter, maybe two weeks ago, two elderly women about a week ago. All four of them talk very comfortably and freely about how well treated they were. Well treated. They were fed, nobody harassed them. Not only that, but even in Israel, they have been shut down, you know, and their government is actively contradicting what they say about their own personal... Their government, government is contradicting what they're saying. On Kibbutz Be'eri, her first name was Yasmin, I forget her last name. She survived it. And she said... Listen. She's the first one who said that the, the people around the Jews, the Israeli Jews around her, who were killed, were killed by Israeli fire. Israeli, Israeli fire. To free them from the Hamas fighters and killed them and she said there was a, Ham a hamas guy like captured her and said to her in hebrew don't worry we're not gonna hurt you we just want to take you as a hostage they just want to take them and as a hostage hurt her. and then she escaped she said that in hebrew it was in the israeli media of her talking i understand hebrew that's what she said but the story is how brutal and savage and uncivilized and dangerous propaganda and like propaganda evil. propaganda Civilization needs to defeat them i just want to give some background for me so again seriously in my life i have heard so many people talk about during the holocaust they were in a ghetto they were in a concentration camp people around them are dying and people would say oh if only someone somewhere in the world knew what was happening to us I have that in my mind. 